A synagogue in Brooklyn, New York, that serves as the center of a Hasidic Jewish movement, was trashed this week during a community no, no, dispute no, no, that started no, no, with the discovery of a secret underground tunnel. The brawl between the police and worshippers erupted in the headquarters of the influential Chabad Lubavitch movement in Crown Heights. This site receives thousands of visitors yearly and is known as the largest Hasidic Jewish organization in the world. But this historic synagogue remained closed recently after the NYPD barricaded it. The chaos between the cops and worshippers broke out at the synagogue after the NYPD were called to the Chabad Lubavitch World Headquarters to deal with a crowd of young Jewish men who had allegedly vandalized cement trucks brought in by municipal workers to seal off a tunnel under the building. The police also arrested nine members of the said movement after crows of Orthodox Jews rioted when construction crews tried to fill in secret underground tunnels that had been dug under the synagogue. Building safety agents also inspected whether the tunnel may have caused a structural damage to the property. What are you seeing now is the inside of the mysterious underground tunnel showing the interior, hallways, a dirt-filled rooms, and more. The tunnels were discovered in December last year at a time when New York residents complained of suspicious noises coming underneath their homes. Construction workers laying pipes near the synagogue then came across a tunnel and alerted authorities. It is still unclear as to why the underground tunnels were dug or for what reason. Meanwhile, Forward, Jewish news site claimed that they were dug in the last year or two in order to illegally expand the building. According to Hasidic news site Colive, a division over religious doctrine and building ownership had erupted between the Chabad movement and a group of young Jews. The latter group was allegedly responsible for digging the tunnels. Meanwhile, Chabad Lubavitch chairman Rabbi Yehuda Krinsky condemned the act as vandalism and called those responsible as young agitators. He also vowed that such actions will be investigated. Reporting, this has been Carlo de la Peña, SMNI News.